texting my sister. I just wanna... <laughs> That's all we've got time for today, William. I'm really sorry, but your hour's up. And it's true. William really did love rivers and walking in nature. He really felt that nature represented the glory of God. And also, he really did love his sister. But the romantic way of talking about nature stops being suitable. The reason it stops being suitable is just some, just some tiny little things that get in the way, like the Industrial Revolution, two world wars. Um, and after those, people feel really disconnected with nature. They feel they've destroyed it. They don't know how to talk about it. And Ian Crichton Smith, who is a Scottish poet, he decides that the only way you can sort of reclaim a relationship with nature is to look very closely at it and to write about it without any metaphor or romance at all. And in fact, he's got a line in one of his poems, which is, dear are only dear, no metaphor. Now, I don't know about you, but I can sort of see a problem with that. <laughs> Ian, have you written any, any new poems recently? Aye, aye, I've just, I've just written a new one, actually. Do you want to hear it? Oh, aye, go on then, go on then. <clears throat> the hills are black. The fields are green. The wind from the north is steady. The deer are standing still, like deer. Oh my God, I'm bored already. <laughs> my sandwiches are cheese and ham, and the bread is really bready. <laughs> oh, the rain is wet, I'm going home. This poem's just no good. The hills will always look like hills. The bears will always shit in woods. And that's essentially the problem. If you take out all of the metaphor from the poem and all of the romance, it's just a bit boring. So where does that leave us now? Well, the people writing about nature at the moment have called themselves the new nature writers. See what they did there. I don't know what they're going to do when the next bunch come along, to be honest. Um, and they are a kind of vigorous bunch. They're sort of nature bros and, and they like uh, walking, going on sort of epic quests um, together normally. Uh, and you can imagine, uh, you know, like, dear diary, Sam says we're going to go for a really long walk soon. He says we're going to go further than we've ever been before and because of that we can't bring anyone else, it's just going to be us and I'm really excited. And we're going to go over mountains, and it's going to get quite scary. And he says that two tents would be too heavy, so we're just going to sleep in one tent together. And I'm really excited. And there's going to be rivers, and we're going to get, you know, really scared sometimes, but it's okay. But he says that two sleeping bags is a lot to carry, and we're just going to have to have one. And I'm really excited. Lots of love, Frodo. <laughs> basically come full circle from Robert Burns seducing women at Burns to nature writers vigorously seducing each other um, and in fact it turns out that the men who would rather be looking at trees for the modern period at least might in fact rather be looking at each other um, so ladies if your boyfriend's really into mountains it's probably cans for you. <laughs> um, thank you very much and have a lovely evening.